Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome to a fun week where I will be posting 5 different Christmas cards featuring Penny Black new Christmas release. For my first card I will be using this Arctic Antics uh, stamp set which is full of cute uh, little polar bears and I will be using the one with the two polar bears that are uh, looking at the stars. So I'm going to stamp it with uh, Memento Tuxedo Black ink and uh, I will be using my Copic uh, markers to color the scarves. Of course, if you are recreating this card, at this stage you can use your favorite uh, coloring medium. Uh, it can be watercolor, it can be alcohol markers or uh, your pencils, whatever you like. And as always, I'm not doing any extreme copy coloring. I'm just using two different shades of uh, red and uh, later I will be using two different uh, shades of uh, green for the scarves as well as I will be adding just a little bit of uh, grey around uh, the polar bears and I will blend it out with my blending pen. If you are wondering which uh, copy colors I've used for coloring uh, the little bears, I have all the colors on screen right now. Now that I am happy with my coloring, I am using my pencil and I am sketching a snowbank. Once I'm happy with the sketching, I will go over it with a black pen and I am going to make sure that the thickness of my pen is pretty much the same thickness as the lines of the polar bears of the stamp. So I'm going over the pencil lines with my black pen and then I'm going to use my scissors and cut out my image. As always, there is a full list of all the supplies that I'm using today just below the video in the description area on YouTube or you can find a full list of supplies on my blog. I am using a black pen and I am going all around the edges of my cutout image so I will get rid of uh, the white edge while at the same time it will look as if I have cut out the, the image perfectly. And now it's time to do my background. This is going to be a starry night background. So I'm using two different distress ink colors to create my background. I am using my blending tool and first going all over with um, faded jeans. I am going to color the whole thing and then only on top I added a little bit of uh, chipped sapphire. Although the Arctic Antics has uh, two different sentiments that you can use, I decided to go with another one from the Seasons Gifts uh, stamp set, which is full of beautiful uh, quotes and uh, sentiments, and I am going to use the one that says, All the stars light our way to peace. I think that uh, this quote is really appropriate for this card with those uh, polar bears looking out at the sky and uh, which is full of stars. Now I am uh, stamping my sentiment with um, Versa marking and I am applying a detailed white embossing powder which I am going to heat set with uh, my heat gun. If you find that you have a little bit of uh, embossing powder that is uh, stuck in uh, places that uh, it shouldn't be, you can always brush it off with a, a soft brush like I'm doing here. To create the stars on my sky I am going to use a little bit of gesso which I have uh, watered down and I am going to do some splashes with a small brush. I am using specifically a small brush because I want my stars to be little uh, tiny drops. Also I am going to cover up the sentiment since I don't want more white on top. Thank you. 
So at this stage you can call this card done and just stick uh, the polar bears on top of the background. But I am going to show you a way of how you can extend this card, take it further and make it even more interesting. So I am going to cut out a cycle using my Sizzix machine and uh, I am going to create a shaker card out of it. So now I am going to add adhesive at the back of the card and then stick uh, on top a piece of acetate. Once the acetate is in place, I am going to use some foam tape and go all around that window. For my window, I will be using two different mixes by Lucy's uh, Little Things and you will find links to those uh, different mixes just below in the description area. As you can uh, see, I have already created the backing of my window. It is just a square piece which I have uh, colored with my blending tool and the two distressed inks that I have used for my main background. So now I am peeling off the backing from the foam tape and I am going to stick and cover up the window with that uh, black uh, background. So you can see how the shaker window looks now. I am going to stick it on top of a standard card. That's a top folding card. That's four and a quarter by five and a half. And uh, I am going to decide where the polar bears will go and then make a marking with my pencil. So I know where uh, I can cut out this uh, snow bank. Once I have uh, my focal point uh, sized down, I'm going to stick it on top of my card by using some foam tip to add a little bit of dimension. And that was the card for today. I hope you had fun and got inspired. And if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Don't forget to join me tomorrow for another Christmas card featuring the latest release by Penny Black. Here are some close-up photos of the card. And if you need more inspiration, here are a couple of Christmas cards using penny black stamps and dies. You can click on any of the videos on screen right now or if you are watching from a mobile device, you can find links to both those videos just below in the description area or you can click the info card that just popped on your screen. Thank you all for watching.